Chapter 18 It's amazing how two thin pieces of clothing can hold such deep memories. Laughter, pain, victory, defeat, friendship, fatigue, elation. They're all there. But only to the person who's worn the uniform. To the rest of the world, it's simply shorts and a tank top. Fiona told me to wear them to the car wash, but holding the gold shorts and Liberty singlet now makes me feel like an imposter. Still, I finally take a deep breath and pull them on. The fabric is cool and smooth against my skin. Memories tingle through me. I sit on the edge of my bed for a long time, fighting back tears. Why am I wearing a track uniform? What am I thinking? Each of yesterday's steps was careful, calculated, conscious. I can't see them ever being anything but. And that's just walking. Then I remember Chloe and the YouTube athletes. They make movement running look so natural, so easy. How do they do that? I finally put on my leg and pull on my new blue and gold side zip sweats. I feel better covered up, like less of an imposter. Going downstairs, I navigate the steps carefully. I feel clunky and clumsy and slow, and I'm glad for the handrail. I actually think about sitting and scooting, but I do make it down without cheating. I find my parents in the kitchen. So, who wants to drive me to the car wash? I ask, putting on a brave face. Or can I just drive myself? I'm joking, but Dad takes me seriously. I'll drive you, he says quickly, and before long we're on our way to the gas station on the corner of Grand and Highland. The first thing I see is the banner. Help Jessica run. The colors are bright, and it's way bigger than I'd imagined, and it's strange to see my name up there. Like it must be another Jessica, not me. There are blue and yellow balloons punching around in the wind, and two bake sale tables set up with blue and yellow tablecloths, and about twenty-five or thirty people in blue and gold track uniforms. Some of the runners are washing cars, some are working the bake sale tables, and some are holding poster board signs and shouting at cars from the corner. Wow, my dad says when he sees the setup. How lucky am I, huh? He gives me a curious look, but then nods as he turns into the parking lot. Luckier than I knew. He pulls to a stop and asks, Is this good? Great. You need help? I open the van door and carefully step down. Nope, I say from the ground. Then I grab my cane, blow him a kiss, and close the door.